Find some vintage toys. What is up, Internet Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys see behind me, I have primarily gotten at garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere that I can get stuff cheap because I love collecting the pieces of my past, but I don't wanna pay the eBay prices, guys. I like to find the stuff out in the wild. And today we are going to a flea market that has historically been a pretty good flea market. I usually always leave with, with some cool collectible or retro video game or toy. And guys, today is no different. We find some amazing stuff. We're about to jump straight into the live footage. But before we do, if you love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. Let's get into it. All right, we're going in small town shop shops. Why do they do that? How come sometimes there's an E on town and shops? What does that mean? What's the difference? I don't know. Let's go in. All right, here's a bunch of Halloween stuff, even though Halloween is over now. Okay, okay. Already coming into some games. You've got mail. This is my wife's, one of my wife's favorite movies. Pretty good. Connect Adventures. How many Connect Adventures have we seen? Every flea market. Were you a Mickey fan growing up? I had a Mickey lamp at one point. Big Tigger. Eeyore. Oh. Look at the SeaWorld. SeaWorld mug. I've never been to SeaWorld. Have you, have you Carrie? I'm thrifting with Carrie right now. Hey, I got there he is. He's being safe with his mask. What is this thing? You're like spinning dreidel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Were you guys boxcar children fans? I was not a big reader back in the day, but I definitely know about these. They always made me mad. They were goody goodies. Mm. They always drank milk when they didn't have to. specific. Wow, look at this silver Christmas tree. That's blasphemy, man. Green. Green Christmas trees for me. What are these? Dwarves? What are those things called? Like Funko Pops Funko, or something? Yeah. This is the knockoff. Here is. Oh. Clash Cubes. Tech Deck. Do you guys know what Tech Deck is? It's like the little, uh, what I know about them is the, uh, little finger skateboards. Here's an old Aladdin the movie adaptation. It's a comic book. It's a comic book. Five dollars. That's probably the first interesting thing we've seen so far. All right, this is the place I found the Diddy Kong racing stickers. They also had some Babe ones too. These are definitely 90s, but I don't care about the care about those. Diddy Kong Racing stickers. It's pretty pretty cool. This is nifty. They took old uh, a cassette holder and they made a jewelry box out of it. Alright guys, it is uh, officially November and it is time for the Christmas decorations. My wife, she wants to put up the Christmas tree right now, but I just, I can't quite do it. When do you guys put up your Christmas tree? I, I'm okay with doing it a little bit before uh, Thanksgiving, but like maybe a week, not, not the beginning of November. Oh man, here we go. All the beanie, this is it. This is like the good one, right? Tell me if I'm wrong, princess. Diana. Diana. Princess Diana. I mean, this but there's like a certain one. This one's name is, this one's like, I think Aaron. I remember that one. And then these are, looks like this is like a, maybe a McDonald's one. 
Jones one. This one was like hippity or hoppity. It'd be very impressive. Floppity. Floppity. That was the other one. I was like, what was the other one? These are cool. Look at this. I like him. Still in the bag, bird. Yeah. Ooh. All right, we got to figure out when this Pink Panther. 19... 1976. Yo, I'm into this. This is the first thing we're going to get. I'm going to make Carrie hold it because I'm filming. All right, we're getting Pink Panther. Vintage 1976. And then this is a big toy. That's a big toy. Surely this was like a... Uh, you like, yeah, you like purchased it on top of your Happy Meal. These guys really do come to life when you're not looking. Just like in Toy Story. Your kids can collect all three. Only $2.69 each with any value meal. Let's see what this is. Toy Story Pals. Okay. How much is this? Do you see? Four fifty. dollars I'm gonna pass on them for now. Dora needs to needs to, needs to work more, on it, more, man. More. And then the Halloween beauty babies. And Thanksgiving. Alright, Pink Panther. This is good. We found something already. I was a fan of fan of the Pink Panther. Did you like the uh, Steve Martin Pink Panther movies? Uh I think I saw it once. So probably not. Alright, these are the ones I was talking about. These are the McDonald's bean babies. You know you are in bad shape. That's very prominent for today. It, it is. It's election day. <laughs> Whenever I don't know when you're watching this right now, but the lefty and the righty. Um yes, election day is today. Oh yeah, and also, man, you had to have this to protect your tag. The bean babies. It's important. Whoa, these are cool. What are these? They don't look like they're anything specific. Samsonite. I'm not gonna say it. Dover said. Is this like a knockoff of a Bop It? No. I don't know. I don't What's know. Say? What year is it? 2000. It's not super old. Heads up. It says heads up. Some kind of some kind of game. I, guys, okay, this is weird. I used to save like this kind of thing. Like I used to save the, like the tin okay, like cans a, and like stuff. A like, like a I guess. I don't know. I used to like to save them. Man, the Christmas stuff is in full force. Oh, these are kind of cool. Look at these weird coffee case holders. Coffee case holders? That's not right. That is, that is nostalgic right there. I just bought some cups similar to this in another size. Not my thing, but I can totally see where people would want those. Like, you have those at your grandma's house, and it's like, I remember drinking out of these. Okay, it looks like they took out the really cool <coughs> toy booth that used to be here. Here's something. Couple toys. Here's a heart toy. Kids watch heart. The heck? I know. That's why. Oh, that one was. Can you my attention? No. These? I remember these, I think. Yeah, I remember those from. Yeah, my sister had those. Oh, okay. McDonald's toys, I'm guessing? Bridal party. No, it's hard to see. I don't know those. 1991. Yeah, my sister had this one. I remember. Thank you, McDonald's, right? Um, yes, McDonald's. Yeah, so this used to be all toys in games and looks like this person is no longer here selling their stuff and it's tools now which is unfortunate here is a uh, shrek the third commemorative glass and a mickey I'm kind of a sucker for this kind of stuff man not for ten dollars but i like a good nostalgic glass some buzz yeah man this used to be a bunch of vintage toys and they're all gone now. It's sad. All this Coke memorabilia. NASCAR Coke memorabilia. It's not for me. Mighty Machines. I actually never even seen this movie. Pixels, not bad. It's a not. Well, should I get it for a dollar fifty? Oh, Brendan Fraser, yes. Dudley do right. I don't, actually don't see one that very often. I feel like that one is very good. Were you guys a fan of the Neutron movie? It wasn't horrible. Snow day, guys. 
I watched this for one of my birthdays. Like my whole birthday party was going to the movies and watching a snow day. Oh uh, yeah, Chevy Chase, man. My wife loves Serendipity. I'm gonna get Pixels just because I've never seen it. Whoa. Look at all the socks. Probably Corey in the house from Disney. Man, I have a lot of like long socks like this. I just can't wear them. I just don't like to wear them. Level up. Hey, do I need these? Dude, these are pretty these are pretty sweet. I think I'd wear these. Alright guys, I'm buying some socks. Some level up socks. Do they have the rights to that? That's the NES controller. Pizza. I think all pizza jokes are pretty funny. Like, there's some pretty good pizza jokes. It's my favorite one. The one, uh, I'm into fitness. Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. I like that one. Game over. That's not true. Come on, guys. I love my wife. I fart, therefore I am. <laughs> Alright, well, they got me with the, uh, gaming ones. I wish there was, like, some nostalgic ones. Dude, there's an MSN Messenger shirt at Target. Didn't have my size, though. Ooh, I see some... VHS. Watch a Titanic. All right, here's Rocket Man. I have this already, but it sells quickly. Every time I have this, it ends up like someone wants this. So, ooh, whoa, this is a demo tape. The 15 million hit demo tape? Carrie, I found something cool. Check this out. This is a demo Rocket Man tape. I don't know what that means. Hey. Million box office. That's a flop, isn't it? Probably. Little Bear. Oh, Did you all watch Little Bear? Bear? I was a little too old when it came out, but I remember. Well, I was too, but I had sisters. Let's get that. Here is The Lost World. Non-lenticular cover. <laughs> Look, Dan Haggerty. Dan Haggerty's Guide to Turkey Hunting. That That's pretty nifty. Schoolhouse America Rock. I didn't watch that, but I know of it. Here's a game. We found, I think, our first game. Rebel, oh, Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk for two bucks. They're sending in bombers. This is Goldfinger. Be careful. The enemy destroyers have just activated their turbo lasers. What do we think? Do we need this? We found a video game. Let's see if I can't get this out. It's not horrible. Okay. Uh, you guys know my rule. If a game is two or less, and it's not a sports game, and I don't have it, I'm going to pick it up. I mean, this Rocket Man's throwing me off. We're going to have to look that up here in a bit. I can't because obviously I'm filming with my phone. Is Clifford? Not Martin Short. That's what people always say when I show them. I'm like, oh, all right. I talk about Clifford the movie. They're like, the big red dog. I'm like, oh, the Martin Short movie, y'all. Cassettes. I've been unfortunately starting to collect some cassettes too. I just got Space Jam on cassette. That's pretty cool. Carrie's such a great friend. I'm filming, y'all. I'm filming. Now that would be a great cheesy Christmas Christmas sweater. Get up right there. No, just me, man. I'd, I'd wear that. Show off the legs. We had this, I remember playing with this exact thing. You, know, you put the thing in, you click it, it would go down. Oh, I it. guys, I've been wanting one. Oh, man. But well, that's half of it. it's half of it. Let's see what's it say. See through phone headset handset only. Okay, I seriously, I can't find one cheap. Last Maybe. time I saw one, it was like Maybe 20 bucks. I'm not buying half of a clear phone. Man. Whoa! Y'all, this is a boxed Furby. Whoa, 30 bucks. Oh yeah, these were mega creepy. We gotta see though if this is a new one or an old one. This looks like a slightly newer one. Tiger Electronic, this could be old. All right, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the year on this. You see it anywhere? 2001. So, I mean, it 
is older. I don't know when Furby initially came out. All right, I'm gonna have to look this. I'll look this up off camera and see uh, what we're looking at in terms of value for a Furby in the box. Furby in the box. Here is an actual one of these cases, but with just actually cassettes. We had one of these. We had this growing up. Well, here's an old Peanuts book. Looks very used. Seven dollars. 1968. All right. Found some games. And what do you know? Two dollars. Oh wait. This is sealed. Never been opened. Just Dance Three for three dollars. I don't think. I think there is a Dance Central that's actually. Whoops. That's actually worth something. I don't know which one it is. I feel like there's a newer one. And then Connect Adventures again. Interesting that this is sealed. Carrie, can you look this one up? Sealed Just Dance 3, Xbox 360. What'd you find? This is movie. I watched this like all the time. Oh, dude, up. I loved Me too. that movie. It's Me and my cousins used to watch that. I didn't even know it was a book. Didn't know either. It's an old Toy Story book. I needed some hand sanitizer. There's some available. And this is very loud. Radio? Killing me. That's kind of cool. Blu ray DVDs. Is it a Blu ray or is it? Not sure. I used to rock that cologne right there back in the day. Okay, this did have my eye. Here is a. What's the Garfield's dog's name? Uh oh. I genuinely don't remember. Maybe it'll tell us right here. Odie. Odie's a dollar? Dude. I, f I literally forgot the name. Well, Odie is getting picked up for a dollar. Charlie Brown Christmas. Classic, y'all. And then here is a Minecraft guy. Minecraft Steve. Two dollars. This actually probably would sell really quick in the booth at the convention, but I don't care. Hey, look. This kind of looks kind of cool. I can't tell if it's Blu-ray or DVD. It says Blu-ray DVDs. Ten dollars? Is that pretty good? Yes, actually it is for this. You can probably sell this for about thirty to forty. I would say. I'll look that up too, because it actually has that. This might get. This might get bought, y'all. You're getting some stuff. Best trilogy of all time. Maybe trilogy of all time. I know. I got reamed in the last video where I said I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Hobbit it. movies more than. Lord, I'm not saying I don't like these. I just have always really liked the Hobbit movies. 30, 29, 35? Okay. For 10 dollars, I'm assuming they're not scratched. We're gonna pick this up. This and Odie from the same uh, booth. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm already drawn to it. Here is a uh, board game or some kind of game. Have you seen this? Whack-a-mole. It looks probably early 2000s, but I just like the box art on that. Here's a Eaten Up FIFA Soccer 11. Here are some more movies. Guys, I actually really like, love this movie. Mr. Freeze, one of my favorites. Here, let's do a good deed. Here, ooh, we did find some vintage toys. Traveling Bilbo. I guess there's a market for this? I would never be interested in collecting Lord of the Rings uh, figures, but there are some Star Wars ones. They're looking like maybe late 90s. And then Star Trek stuff, guys. Star Trek stuff just majority of the time does not sell. Here are Micro Machines Star Wars figures. Star Wars! Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime with Micro Machines Star Wars transforming action. Star Wars! May the force be with you. Think big, play small. Micro Machines. New Star Wars transforming action sets, each sold separately. Has to be uh, 90s, right? 1996. They're so small. Choking hazard, man. I actually think Micro Machines are back, though. I think they brought them back. Sorry, Odie. I'm sorry I left you on the ground and I forgot your name. Well, Carrie is getting down. I'm trying to find them DVD deals. This is a lot of Star Trek stuff. Oh, look at this. Yo, it's a 
it's a matchbox KFC truck. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Hey, I'm not too good for KFC. This is cool. Here is a Wonder World Star Wars. You put water in it? I have no idea. I'm just not into it. You like any of this stuff, Gary? Uh, I like Star Wars, basic Star Wars. There are Star Wars things in here. It looks like they're probably priced accordingly to like eBay and stuff though. Whoa, original rock band for $9. Hey, hey, press your luck. That's the, that's actually a game that sells well. But for $10? But for 10 no. That's not a good case. Interesting that they would price it that high. That stinks. Here's a uh, little table. Here is a pack of cards. What are these? Kicking Auto Racing. NASCAR is one of those things that I just, I just don't get, man. I mean, no, no hate for anybody that likes likes that. I just can't do it. I think we skipped. Oh, that's this is a full thing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Here are some games. Guitar Hero World Tour. Twelve dollars, seven dollars. Bioshock Infinite. Twelve dollars. No. <laughs> Those will sit there forever, and nobody will ever buy them. I promise you that some Elvis dolls. All right, we did get at this flea market. Audi, Blu-ray set, and then all the stuff Carrie has. We'll go back over in the game room. That Rocket Man VHS is throwing me off. I gotta do some research on that. All right, guys, let's get into these pickups. I think we only spent $20 in total for all of this stuff, which is pretty incredible. So the first thing we got was this Pink Panther. Guys, he is, he's amazing, uh, dated 1978. What I think is crazy about this is how clean this is for being uh, 40 plus years old. Uh, and he's only a couple bucks too, so I had to pick him up. I'm not like a huge plush collector or anything like that, but for only a couple dollars, I had to get this Pink Panther. He also has some kind of like metal wiring in him, so he's kind of posable. You can move him into like different positions, which is pretty cool, guys. 1978 Pink Panther for just a couple dollars. All right, guys, next up are these gaming socks. Level up, and it's got uh, a PlayStation controller on it, an NES controller, an Atari joystick, and it says level up up here. So I'm gonna sport these whenever I'm at a wedding or something like that, so people know what I'm all about. I'm all about the games. All right, y'all, next up, is freaking Rocket Man. Guys, I love this movie. My wife hates it, but I think it is so funny, so over the top, and um, I already have this movie, but again, this is a demo tape. If you guys have uh, any information on why this would say demo tape, please tell me down below. I'm thinking maybe it was like at a Blockbuster or something potentially. It says 55 day PPV window. I have no idea. But this again was like a dollar or two. So I had to pick this up. Wait, it says something else on here. No, it doesn't. It just says the 15 million hit. I don't know. Guys, hilarious movie. Had to pick it up because it is a little obscure by saying demo tape. Next up, we got the movie Pixels. This is one that I have not seen. I have heard uh, mixed things about it, but it has Adam Sandler and Kevin James in it. So it can't be too bad. And it is about... It is about video games, so I'm gonna check out Pixels probably tonight if I have time uh, after editing this video. All right, our only game pickup is Rebel Raiders. This is one that I don't know anything about. It is uh, some kind of arcade combat simulator thing. Looks pretty good. I'm not against, uh, you know, combat uh, plane mission type games, so hopefully Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk is good. Only a couple bucks. We'll probably end up adding this into a $10 game collection episode, uh, but cool to pick this up. All right, guys, next up is the Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, in this extended edition uh, set. So I don't have this on Blu-ray. I have uh, just the original Blu-rays, but I think this has like additional scenes um, from the movie. I think I had these on DVD at one point, but did not have this, and this was only eight or nine bucks and this thing sells for like $40, so I had to pick this up. I'm not gonna sell it for now. I'm gonna keep it, add it to the collection, but guys, 
I love the Lord of the Rings movies and I was super stoked to pick this up. It's in a really cool case too. It's got like a magnet on it uh, to keep it secure. I'm pumped to have this amazing pickup. All right guys, and our last pickup was this Odie plush. Now I completely blanked uh, in the live footage of me of me hunting and finding this, but this is Odie. Guys, I was a Garfield fan back in the day. Were you guys uh, Garfield fans back uh, back in the day? But a great show, great cartoon. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm gonna start collecting plushes, but if I get them cheap, maybe, maybe I'll start collecting them, but only if I find them for like a dollar or two, but it was cool to pick them up. Guys, tell me your favorite thing that I found in this week's episode. Thank you guys as always for hanging out. For watching the video if you guys would like the video and subscribe if you haven't already until next time peace